Welcome back to the Sawmill Build. We're on to episode 10 now. If you're new here, there should be a, a playlist up here, or maybe here. I don't know. I'm not really good with that part of where we've gone so far, or where we've come from. Uh, if you're new, consider clicking that subscribe button. In this episode, we're going to go over the lift mechanism that raises the and lowers the slide. So, let's see what this took to build. So I think our next step is going to be the lift and lower mechanism for the carriage, saw head, whatever. So there's some steps it's going to be easy if it's up here and there's going to be some steps it's going to be easy if it's down low so these are pieces of angle um, two by two quarter wall with a hole in it it's going to be an eye bolt there we'll have a nut on top and a nut on bottom so we can fine adjust for pitch these are yet to be welded on and the actual lift and lower mechanism will be this boat winch. And there's going to be some pulleys. We're going to add this piece of 2x2 two two out here. And the winch is going to be mounted on this down here to make it easier. It'll make it so it can be used if the frame is on the ground or on the axle. So, let's get to welding, I guess. Let's weld. Screw off, mosquito. leaned to the rear a little bit but I don't think that's a bad thing because that'll give us clearance between the back actually this won't even be here that'll be cut off bonus I think we're still going to leave it leaned a little bit just because we'll call the design feature not a mistake right Oh my god! I hate that part. What? 
Epine in the ice. Is that redemption? I'm getting burnt. Mint. a brace in there or not we might forego the brace well I don't want to weld the winch on I want to bolt it because like it just makes sense but I don't think I have bolts oh wait a minute I might have bolts we need to drill holes though. So, oh, we can be pretty off with our holes and still be okay because one's slotted. Thing of beauty. Bottom one might be a little hard to get the nut on though. Gotta hold the nut between the tips of my fingers and reach up in to, and then spin the head of the bolt. There we go. She's on. Nope. Grab some tools. We got our winch mounted up here. Cable is loose as to me, but that's okay for now. We'll get to that in a bit. We've got some little pulleys. They're actually meant for cable. They've got a rounded groove in them. So our first one will be up on top here. Probably right there too, actually. bolt's too short, but it gives us a proof of concept, so to speak. So 
So our cable can come up over that. The next part is where it's going to get complicated. See, the plan initially was two cables and two pulleys out here coming back to the winch. But that's not going to work, according to the internet. Because apparently you'll get one cable on top of another one and it'll actually start to lift the saw head crooked. So it's got to be split up. So the cable will join somewhere so that only one cable is coming back to the winch. And I got to envision how that's going to work. So our bolts are too short for some reason. So we'll have to get bolts. But the idea is the cable so we'll both anchor here with these. They're both going to come up. This one is going to come over this pulley, head back, make a U-turn over this pulley to about here. This one will come up and over and they're going to join right here. And those where they join will be the one cable going over to the winch. I was really wanting to make it go up and down tonight, but the bolts are like coming just flush to the back side of the hole. I can't put a nut on them. So yeah, I don't have any longer ones that I'm aware of. Well, we're back at the lift. We've gone and got some longer bolts in here so we can actually put nuts on them. Our eyes are mounted. We've added I call them a hair dye, some people call them a thimble. I've spun all the cable off of the boat winch. We've got 33 feet it says, so we might as well use this to our advantage. So this one we'll have to probably undo. Move in the middle. I want to leave a bit of a tail on these in case I need to adjust their position later. Okay. Now our cable is going to come up over. I need another thimble hard item and clamp. It's a little windy today. So we're going to make a loop up here.
there to keep our cable from getting away on us. We're just going to tape it on. It's not going to be tight, tight, but it's going to help. Now, loop under that, over that. We need a way to cut the cable. little bit of tape to uh, stop me from poking myself. Another cable clamp. <laughs> we got way too much there, but that's okay. We can trim it down later. Wrong way. Never saddle a dead horse. I don't know if this is a high enough load that that's something to worry about, but we'll still do it the right way. Okay. This cable had a weird way of being routed. It was looped through these holes in the side several times over. that clamp. Ah, uh, I know what I forgot to do. Feed it like that. And through that hole. Through that hole. Through that hole. and under the clamp.
arm's getting tired. Damn it. Moment of truth. I don't want to stand in line with that on the first lift. That's got some dirty pull on it, peoples. I see a problem. Oh, you guys can't see it yet. So we have a slight problem. Our hook is going to hit that. And our tape is actually causing our cables to stay drawn together. What's up? What about down? We have down issue. Oh, because we're way higher on one side. Our cable stayed on pulleys and they did. So we got to make a couple modifications, actually, one modification. We need to extend this up a little bit to get this pulley higher so that our hook will clear this one because right now it's actually rubbing on it. That's not a huge issue. In hindsight, had we known that, we could have used a piece of tube that went up, but we'll figure something out. And now it's starting to drizzle. So we may or may not do that in the rain. We'll see what, what goes on. So we've made some more changes to the lift. As you can see, we've extended it to give us clearance between the hook and this pulley. I actually cut the old piece of tube right off instead of adding a piece to it. And now we can Right now, that's as high as we can go because we got to trim the beam down. But we have ample room up here for the pulley to continue, or cable to continue back. And even at that, 
that's probably as high as we're going to need to take it for most things. And then down is just a matter of down. The only downside is if I let go of this handle in the down position, this is going to drop. So once you crank it down, you got to flip the lock again. I'm thinking of getting or gearing up some kind of spring so that I'll have to hold it to drop it. And as soon as I let go, it'll kick back over so the saw head can't drop. I don't know. We'll see how that goes.